Hi friends, welcome to another video. My name is Jana. In today's video, we're going to be talking about a very common topic, why you cannot stop thinking about food and why you are always hungry. I often see people who claim that they are foodies and that they can literally think about food all day long and eat food all day long and never ever get satisfied by it. The problem with that is that, well, there is nothing wrong with being a foodie and loving food and being generally interested in food and trying out different recipes, different flavors. When food is all you really think about, then there is a problem. That that indicates a deeper problem that you have with your relationship with food and your body. So in this video I'm going to be talking about the three most common reasons why you can never stop thinking about food and why you claim you're always hungry, even if you're full. Reason number one why people cannot stop thinking about food is because you are either restricting calories or you're skipping meals or you're doing any other form of dieting. The problem with that is that when we are constantly dieting and constantly making our bodies go through a caloric deficit our bodies are going to react our bodies are very smart so they're going to make up for every single shortage that we make them go through by making us crave more food and also think about food all the time that means that if you're constantly restricting calories your body is going to make you make up for these calories in one or another way so sooner or later when you start eating food chances are you're going to go overboard with every single meal that you eat. Restricting foods can look like many things. It can look like skipping carbs. It can look like skipping meals, making smaller portions than what you actually want. Also claiming certain foods to be good or bad over exercising in order to compensate for the meals that you have eaten or for the foods that you're planning to eat. Overall, it means that you are depriving your body of nutrients that it needs in order to function properly. So our bodies are going to make up for any shortage that we make them go through. And as soon as you allow yourself to eat, chances are you're going to go way overboard and you're going to feel even more horrible afterwards. So restricting food, restricting calories, skipping meals, claiming foods as good or bad, compensating foods with exercise, that's all going to lead to one big disaster because your body is eventually going to make you make up for that by eating more and it's going to make you crave foods and those foods are going to be most probably high sugar high fat foods so exactly the ones that you're trying to avoid restriction never leads to anything positive in the long run trust me when i tell you all diets are based on restricting calories restricting meals restricting foods and this is never going to result in a life time changes that you're going to be able to sustain for the rest of your life and it's never going to give you the fit body that you want because eventually you're always going to spiral back into that overeating over restricting mode which you know all too well restricting is the number one reason why you can never stop thinking about food and why you can always eat number two very popular reason why people can not stop thinking about food is imagine that you don't restrict calories, right? So imagine that you provide yourself with all the nutrients that your body needs in order to function properly. The problem here might be that you don't eat enough. Even though you eat the right food, so the right micronutrients, protein, carbohydrates, fat, also micronutrients, vitamins, fiber, chances are you could still eat too little of that. And if you do, then you're still going to be thinking about food all the time. So even people who eat healthy and who claim to be super self-conscious and focused on what they eat could be massively under eating. I see this with a lot of women that are focused on eating healthy, so eating the right foods, never eating junk food, never eating high sugar foods, high fat foods, only eating the healthy options. And they still claim to be thinking about food all the time and be able to eat all the time. Girl, if you eat enough, you are never going to think about food all the time. The majority of your day, you will be satisfied, full, and you will not think about food. Because you will have eaten enough, your stomach will be full, your body will be able to digest everything that you have eaten, and in the meantime, you're not going to be craving food. So even if someone offers you to eat, you will be like, no, actually, I'm full. I don't want that. And you will mean it. <laughs> Instead of someone offers you something and then you're like, oh yeah actually i could eat if you have eaten enough and you have provided your body with the right nutrients but also with enough amount of nutrients trust me you will not be able to eat all the time and that's a fact so people who claim they are foodies and they love food and they are generally able to eat all the time are generally the people that are not eating enough Another reason why you cannot stop thinking about food, which is a big, big, big one, is 
emotional eating. And that means that you are using food as a coping mechanism to deal with your emotions. For people like me, like others who have moments when they just want to, you know, do any, do nothing and sit on the couch and have a couple of pieces of chocolate with a nice movie, that's not really emotional eating. What I mean by emotional eating is that whenever you feel an emotion which you cannot recognize, so you cannot give it a name, you cannot understand what you're feeling and why you're feeling it, the easiest thing that someone can do is turn to food and use food as a coping mechanism to deal with that emotion. So for example, if you're feeling overwhelmed in the end of a long day at work and you just don't know what to do because you're feeling tired, stressed, you're feeling anxious and you feel like you don't have enough time during the day and it's already the evening and you just want to rest and you know that tomorrow everything is going to start again. So this massive feeling of overwhelm can result in a massive trigger to overeat. And people use food as a way to soothe themselves, as a way to calm their emotions, as a way to numb their emotions. And I know it's easier said than done, but these are general things that are big factors in the way we deal with food. So understanding what your emotion actually is and understanding where it comes from and dealing with it in a specific way, which is other than food, is going to help you majorly in the long run in order to develop a healthy relationship with food. And also to understand your feelings better, to understand your emotions better and to have yourself under control better. It's very important that when we feel overwhelmed or tired or whenever we actually want to turn to food as a way to soothe our feelings or as a way to make ourselves feel better, it's best to sit down and to understand how we actually feel. I have posted a video which is called how to stop emotional eating and I'm going to leave it down below in the description with some tips and tricks you can do and some easy exercises which you can apply every time you feel overwhelmed by your emotions and you want to turn to food. So if you haven't, then click the link down below in the description and watch that video. But for this video, I just wanted to make you aware of that as a factor why you cannot stop thinking about food is because you use food as a coping mechanism to deal with your emotions. So anytime you feel lonely or tired or even when people feel happiness, they can still be emotionally eating. So this is something which is not only triggered by negative feelings, but also by positive feelings as well. So every time you want to eat food, then you really need to ask yourself, am I actually physically hungry or am I trying to soothe an emotion or respond to a certain emotional need by eating food? So this is something very important to understand if you want to eventually stop eating emotionally. So yeah, I'm keeping this video quite short and my goal with this video is to draw your attention to the fact that when you cannot stop thinking about food and when you feel like you could always eat, there is something wrong with your relationship with food. And I just want to make you aware of a couple of things that are quite important and usually play a role in the way you feel about food. So while there are other factors that can vary per individual, these are three of the most common things that I have seen throughout my practice as an online coach. And if you recognize yourself in one of these, then I will love to read your experience in the comments. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, then please do so. I post weekly videos on how to reach food freedom and become an intuitive eater while keeping a fit and healthy body. So if you're interested in learning more about this, then please subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to download my free ebook on how to reach your dream physique by eating intuitively. I'm going to leave a link to it down below in the description. Like this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.